Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. India's foreign minister says just like Lord Hanuman, ruling BJP discovered its strength in 2014. Activist demands freedom of Sindh from Occupy of Pakistan highlights atrocities. And UN chief condemns Taliban ban on Afghan women working for UN. And now for all the details. On the occasion of the 44th Foundation Day of India's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar said that just like Lord Hanuman performed infinite feats after discovering his strength, same way the BJP discovered its strength in 2014. His remarks came after Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his address said that BJP derives inspiration from Lord Hanuman to fight corruption heading out at the Opposition Congress Party. The Prime Minister said Opposition parties only talk about social justice, but it is the BJP that toils for helping each Indian as he set the tone for 2024 national election campaign. powerful thing he said today was the way Hanuman, Lord Hanuman discovered his strength and then performed infinite uh, feats. I think we discovered our strength in 2014 and I have kept discovering it since then. Meanwhile, the last day of the Parliament's budget session, which remained an absolute washout, continued to witness disruptions, with the opposition demanding a probe into the Adani Rao. The opposition lawmakers, led by Congress Party, also took out the Thiranga March, holding tricolour national flags as they alleged that democracy is under attack from the BJP. Well, in a significant victory, India has been elected to the United Nations Statistical Commission for a four-year term. India reportedly received a resounding 46 out of 53 votes ahead of South Korea, China and the UAE. Foreign Minister S. Shankar on Twitter said that India's expertise in the field of statistics, diversity and demography has earned it the seat. Established in 1947, the UN Statistical Commission is the highest body of the global statistical system. It is responsible for setting of statistical standards globally and the development of concepts and methods including including their implementation. And as Muslims across the world are celebrating Ramadan, people across Pakistan are dreading about the hike in prices of fruits and vegetables during the Islamic holy month. A report. As Muslims across the world are undergoing rigorous fasting during the holy month of Ramadan, locals in Pakistan's Karachi city are dreading about spiraling prices of fruits and vegetables. Ramadan may be a month of fasting, but for many Muslims, it also involves a gastronomical feast. Food, beverage and transportation prices have all surged more than 45%, putting pressure on household budgets and leaving many desperate. <laughs> Amid the inflation crisis, at least 16 people were also killed in stampedes for food aid last week. Prices have been pushed higher by a weakening currency and energy tariff increases while the country of 220 million people tries to finalize a 1.1 billion US dollars IMF bailout agreement. Moving on, Shehnawaz Bhutto, an activist of the GA Sindh Mutahida Mehes, has raised concern over rising incidents of enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings and use of political repression by Pakistan to silence voices of the people in Sindh. Speaking outside the UNHRC building in Geneva, Bhutto said Pakistan is a terrorist state and appealed to the international community for independence of Sindh. There are several nationalist parties in the province who advocate for a free Sindh nation, calling Pakistan an occupier that has been exploiting their natural resources. They have long been requesting the UN to take notice of Pakistani atrocities against innocent Sindhis. Or nakam riyasat dehshat gardi ki panaga hai, duri dunya ne unko rad kar diya hai. Isiliye ham mazlumo ka saath diya jaye, 
سندھو دیش اور بلوچستان کو آزاد کیا جائے تب بھی اس خطے میں امن اور استحکام بحال ہو سکتا ہے A 17-year-old elephant, Noor Jehan, in Karachi Zoo received further treatment on Wednesday after she underwent medical procedures, including a major tusk surgery last year. Veterinarians expressed hope for the elephant's recovery as she was able to stand on her feet with the help of a crane. Examinations have proved that despite trauma, kidney malfunction and several other ailments, chances of the elephant's survival were bright. Noor Jehan was brought to Pakistan from Tanzania more than a decade ago. She lives with a sister, Madhubala, in a cage that does not allow for enough mobility. Authorities are now planning to relocate them to another facility where they would have more space. Today is a team of four pros together with the zoo doctors. We were able to, I will say, to complete a complex procedure. It was a very risky procedure for Noor Jahan. We nearly lost to Noor Jahan when we gave the sedation. We were lucky with all the previous preparation. Noor Jahan stand up again. We complete the procedure. The good news, we know what Noor Jahan have. And UN Chief Antonio Guterres on Wednesday condemned a ban by the Taliban authorities on Afghan women working for the United Nations, calling it an intolerable violation of the most basic human rights that should be immediately revoked. The United Nations has told its 3,300 Afghan staff, of which about 400 are female, not to report to their offices until further notice for security reasons. Guterres urged the Taliban to immediately to reverse all measures restricting women's and girls' rights to work, education and freedom of movement. Taliban administration has, however, not responded to request for the comment. The Taliban, which seized power in 2021, says it respects women's rights in line with its strict interpretation of Islamic law. And thousands of devotees across India thronged temples to mark Hanuman Jayanti, the birth anniversary of Hindu monkey god Lord Hanuman. The festival is marked by recitation of hymns and offering flowers and sweets at the temples. Hindu devotees across India on Thursday thronged temples with floral and sweet offerings as they celebrated Hanuman Jayanti, the birth anniversary of the Hindu monkey god, Lord Hanuman. Celebrations started early in the morning as devotees in capital New Delhi queued up outside temples to worship the deity before sunrise. Every year, Indians observe Hanuman Jayanti on Chetra Purnima, which is the day of the full moon of the season. हनुमान जी महाराज का जन्म उत्सव की ढेर सारी शुभकामनाएं आज हनुमान जी महाराज का जन्म उत्सव हम सब विगत हनुमान जी के चरणों में आज सभी भक्तों के साथ धूमधाम से मना रहे हैं हम यही आराधना करना चाहते हैं कि हनुमान जी महाराज पूरे विश्व में सुख शांति समृद्धि रखें Similar scenes were witnessed in Ayodhya and Patna cities where hundreds of devotees offered prayers and chanted hymns in praise of Lord Hanuman and made offerings Devotees reciting the holy hymn chant of Hanuman Chalisa was a common sight in many temples. Hanuman is worshipped for his undying loyalty to Hindu Lord King Ram and his consort Sita. He is considered a symbol of strength and power. It is believed worshipping him helps devotees get rid of evil influences. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.